Hi, my name is John. I'm, I'm the techie at XL Program Inventions that uh, supports and maintains the Target 400 product. I just quickly want to take you through converting System 36 RPG2 to RPG4 and ILE on the IBM I. This will get you away from the legacy uh, RPG2 compiler once and for all and modernize your, your, your stuff and, and, and get you into uh, RPG4 or ILE or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the process is pretty straightforward. Uh, from the main Target 400 options menu, uh, select option 3 uh, to generate native mode RPG programs. And once you've done that, you'll see it pops up a screen and asks you for some basic information like input source file name, which is typically QS36SRC, that's the name of the source file containing the RPG2 code. Uh, I've uh, got some legacy code in a library called smax.ctl and uh, my output specs, I'll use the same name for the source file, it's typically the default source file name which is QRPG LE SRC. I'm going to put it in my library J O H N and uh, I will also put the compiled objects in the same library J O, J -O H N and then press enter on that. And you'll see from the next screen it, it, it pops up a PDM style member list screen with all the RPG2. Uh, source code members on it so uh, from this screen just select the programs you want to convert and for the purpose of this demo I'm going to select say the, uh, the first one and last one press enter it comes up with a confirmation screen uh, press enter on that and uh, what the product has done, it's submitted those two source members, uh, RPG2 source members, to the job queue for conversion. So when, when it's completed that, we should get a couple of completion messages uh, and uh, be able to have a look at the output at, at that point. While we're waiting for that, let me show you another quick way of uh, converting your, your RPG programs. If I just do an F12 and exit this screen and get back to the main options menu, uh, I can actually page down on this. There's this two screens uh, to the main menu and you'll see the second one at the top there has got a, an option 30 to work with conversion commands. If I select 30 and press enter and for the sake of this exercise um, I'm going to pick option 6 off this screen which is the CVT S36 RPG command I'll press enter on that it'll uh, pop up with the uh, parameters it needs to see they're more or less the same as what we qualified for the menu option um, the difference is here for program name you can specify star all then you can submit this to to your job queue and it'll just convert everything in a given uh, System 36 library or, or source file. I'll just exit that. And as you can see we've got a message so let's see what that's all about. and it's finished converting the SMP010 RPG program we submitted and we'll just hang on for it to finish the other one and then we'll have a look at the, uh, there we go, we'll have a look at the output and see what we've got. So now those two programs uh, I submitted for conversion have completed and if we have a look at the spool file we should have compilation listings for both of them which we do so the quick browse at that SMP010 as you can see that program has now been compiled 
as an RPG4 program. Then if you have a look at the other, SMP100. And if we go down to the bottom, and that too has been compiled successfully and, and the object placed in Library John. So that one looks good. So that's uh, two RPG2 programs, legacy code converted to uh, RPG4. So uh, let's, as the final thing, have a look at the output source code. So I'll use PDM to do that. We take menu option 3 and we specify QRPG LE source as our output source file in library John and there we have it. Uh, those are the output RPG4 or ILE programs. And that's all there and the code has been generated. I'll just do a F12 out of this. What you'll notice is, uh, uh, apart from the two program sources that have been converted and put in into this output source file, you also appear to have what looks like an extra couple of members, which will no doubt be copybook members. Uh, just have a quick look at those. So yes, one of those is a copy, copybook member and contains a file description in the form of iSpecs. And I presume the other one is likewise. Yeah, that's a file description, uh, the output specs. So what's actually happened here is uh, at, the, at the time the code, the program is actually converted, uh, it, it processes any copy book members of external source members it calls in. At the same time it converts the program. That is basically the process for converting RPG2 to RPG4 and ILE and it's as easy as that.